heavily in the California Waste Solutions waste management controversy. Your thoughts on how everything turned out? And, and your role. And your role as well. Sad day. Sad day for Oakland. My role is this. As a community advocate, David called me up. He's David. David DeWong of California Waste Solutions. Mm -hmm. And I traveled overseas like at least five times to see his Vietnam Waste Solutions. He said, Ken, after the city council voted to give him the contract, that he went through the right process and legit and won. Waste management took a full out attack on him with a referendum. He called me up and said, Ken, I need you, you're a community advocate. Can you pull the teams together to get these withdrawal forms done? Can you help me out? So he hired me as the commander over 111 people. And we hit the ground going against what waste Imagine manager was doing, was doing yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and, and in terms was, of explain that they were so those was, who don't know. Then it was bad. They were out there having signatures, telling people any and all things to get the signatures, waste management was. Three of my people, a, a husband and a wife and their child, was threatened with a gun. One, I got the police reports, I made all police reports. One of my individuals was spit on, and another one was threatened with a gun. I have police reports. So they were gun by who? by the, the, the petitioners on waste management side. Whoa. One of them got spit on by one. I have police reports, it's gonna be in the post. Uh, sure, oh, Oakland Post. Oakland uh -huh. Post, yeah. But The one media I mentioned here, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so, so, let me say this, Zinni. What was the message that is sent to Oakland when this giant, this giant crushed David, and his name is David DeWong, crushed this, 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 this local company. What message did that send to entrepreneurs, dream chasers, that think that they can go and do a, get a bid legitimately, and then a bigger person with bigger money can just crush you and take it back? That's what happened over there in City Hall. And there's some things I can't talk about, Ziddy, that happened. Um, behind closed doors that this man was forced, forced. Well, excuse me, the mayor brokered a deal. Are you saying that the mayor, you're saying something to me that it sounds like, forgive me if I say I'm wrong, sounds like saying that Mr. Duong was forced by the mayor? The mayor should have stayed out of it. Okay. That was city council. The mayor should have stayed out of it. City council decided that's their job. The mayor is only there if to break a tie. That wasn't her position to overstep city council. That's wrong. I would have never done that with the city council. But as mayor, I have the relationships. I wouldn't have had to worry about breaking a tie. I would have been working with them. Thanks, Kim.